Welcome to Gail's Garden Herbs and More. <laughs> there's not any garden and there's not herbs. All there seems to be is snow. It started out not too bad, lightly, the beautiful snow falling down. But oh, what it ended up with was nothing that I suspected. It started out small and it grew and grew and grew. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? <laughs> or what shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? My greenhouse collapsed. The chicken pen, some here it's beginning to, but um, in the end it all came down flat like a pancake. And then I began to worry a little bit about the roof of this little tiny trailer that I'm in. What was gonna happen? But you know, fear doesn't come from the Lord. And I thought about it and I worried a little bit about it, but it began to be a lot of work just to go out and walk and try to get to the animals and sink down. There's times I sunk down to my hips. Most of the time though, it was around my knees but just depended what drift I happened to sink into. <laughs> it, but it was hard, and I was fighting to save my animals' lives, and my daughter and granddaughter brought a heater up for me, a buddy heater, and then it didn't work, and they had to come back, and then later my granddaughter and friend came up and brought water and stuff because our electric was out, and it, it was it was getting pretty tough. They brought my granddaughter's four-wheel drive truck as far as they could and had a little sled and put stuff on it and hiked in. You know, all of this is kind of like, and I've been there, guys. I think a lot of us have. It's kind of like sin. It starts out small. It seems innocent. But it grows and grows and grows until it has you so entrapped and you don't know how you're going to get out of it all. You say, well, just pray and ask forgiveness. It's not always that easy. Guys, this is crazy. Already yeah, took about two feet off the top of that pin over there. Most of it, we couldn't reach some of it. Over here is all collapsed. I, that one's starting to collapse. There's a little box for a smaller amount of chickens. I took some of them and put in that little thing, that little small chicken house there. It's really old, but well built. Um, and the other half, actually more than half are left in there and I'm just hoping it'll hold. Um, it just keeps snowing and keeps snowing and we've had feet and feet of snow. Um, I have cleaned off my porch so many times it's not even funny. Um, 20 or 30 minutes later after feeding the animals and fighting and digging out the gate to the chicken pen and I come back about 30 minutes later and it's <laughs> got another half inch or so of snow. I mean it's just it's just crazy. At the end of this video, everything is just crashed to the ground. But then I'll be starting over at some point. I think about, and I've known a few people who got caught up in drugs and stuff. I've never dealt with that, but I've dealt with things in my life, but not that. And but I, I feel for, for those that do, because any type of thing you get caught in can be devastating and can build and build and build like snow builds. But the thing of it is, once you get straightened out, if some of you are in that situation, don't give up. Just keep working at it, because eventually you'll get it. It'll go away. It takes time, though. And then you gradually start rebuilding 
you start rebuilding your life you may have to start everything maybe have fell flat you may have to start from the beginning and start working over but you know the Lord's there and he can take he will he can take he will take your hand and help you he's not going to do it for you but he be there for moral support so to speak for strength and I just want to encourage you to hang in there if any of you are going through anything where you feel like it's just the end. Whether it's a bad thing or a hard thing in your life or just circumstances. Now here I'm preaching to the choir because things look have been pretty tough for a while. But as I said, it's just circumstances and life is not always easy. We'll start over. We'll rebuild. We'll rebuild a chicken, or I'll rebuild a chicken pen and a garden, and hopefully I'll have some help. Anyway, keep your head up, guys. It will look like this again as soon as all this, the snow that's here now goes away. It'll be beautiful like this again. And, you know, I think of the scripture. It says, though the Lord slay me, still will I trust him. And this world, or the world to come, is going to be beautiful. It's all on the timing of everything. And I was able to save all my chickens. Two of them we had to cut out in the middle of the night when the final crash came with bolt cutters. I didn't think they'd make it, but they're walking around. All of my chickens from that flat pancake crash. It's amazing. Um, so all is not lost. Um, just material things and that's kind of how we have to look at it. No lives lost. That's amazing. In the tornadoes and everything else that's happen happening across our nation, some people have lost lives.